Hello everyone, this is Hema Shri. I am a computer science engineering student at Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering. Here we are going to discuss about pointer aliasing. Under this topic, we are going to discuss about what is pointer aliasing, how does pointer aliasing affect code, avoiding pointer aliasing, pointer aliasing in real world applications, debugging pointer aliasing issues, and conclusion. Introduction Understanding pointer aliasing is a crucial for a software development. Pointer aliasing occurs when multiple pointers refer to the same memory location. This can lead to hidden dangers such as unintended side effects and memory corruption. In this presentation, we will explore the concept of pointer aliasing and its impact on the program behavior. What is pointer aliasing? Pointer aliasing occurs when two or more pointers refer to the same memory address. This can happen when a pointer is assigned a value that is also pointed to by a, another pointer. Understanding pointer aliasing is important because it can lead to unexpected behavior in code. For example, if one pointer modifies the value at a memory address, it may inadvertently affect the value accessed by another pointer that aliases the same memory address. How does pointer aliasing affect code? Pointer aliasing occurs when two or more pointers point to the same memory location. This can lead to unexpected behavior in code because changes made through one pointer can affect the value of another pointer. For example, consider a program that uses two pointers, P1 and P2, to access the same memory location. If P1 is used to change the value at that location, then P2 will also reflect that change even if it was not explicitly modified. Another example of pointer aliasing can occur when a function modifies a pointer passed as an argument but does not return the modified pointer. This can lead to confusion about the state of the pointer after the function call and can result in difficult to debug errors. It's important to be aware of these potential issues and make the steps to avoid them in your code. One strategy for avoiding pointer aliasing is to use cons to pointers. By declaring a pointer as const, you are telling the compiler that the pointer will not be able to use to modify the value it points to. It can help prevent unintended side effects caused by multiple pointers pointing to the same memory location. Another strategy is to use type qualifiers. Type qualifiers like volatile and restrict can help prevent pointers aliasing by specifying how a pointer can be used. For example, the volatile qualifier tells the compiler that the value pointed to by a pointer may change unexpectedly, while the restrict qualifiers specify that a pointer is the only way to access a particular memory location. Pointer aliasing in real world applications. In real-world applications, pointer aliasing can lead to unexpected behavior that have serious consequences. For example, imagine a self-driving car that uses pointers to access data from sensors and make decisions based on that data. If pointers are used to, if two pointers are used to access the same memory location but with different types, it could result in incorrect sensor readings being used to make critical driving decisions. Another example is in the field of cybersecurity. Pointer aliasing can be used maliciously to exploit vul vulnerabilities in software. By manipulating pointers to access memory location, they should be able to. Attackers can give ac gain access to sensitive information. Debugging pointer aliasing issues. One of the most effective techniques for debugging pointer aliasing issues is to use a memory profiler. This tool can help you identify where and when pointers are being aliased, allowing you to track down the root cause of the problem. Another approach is to use compiler flags that enable strict aliasing rules. This can help catch pointer aliasing issues during compilation before they have a chance to cause problem at runtime. Preventing pointer aliasing issues requires careful attention to code design and development practices. One strategy is to limit the scope of pointers as much as possible so that they only point to the data they need to access.
Another approach is to use cost qualifiers to prevent unintended modifiers to data through aliases. By following these best practices, you can greatly reduce the risk of encountering pointer aliasing issues in your code. Pointer aliasing in microcontrollers. In the world of microcontrollers, pointer aliases can be double-edged sword. On one hand, it allows for more efficient use of memory by allowing multiple pointers to access the same location. However, it, can, it also increases the risk of bugs and ex unexpected behavior in code. This is particularly true in real-time systems and safety-critical applications where even small errors can have catastrophic consequences. To mitigate the risk of pointers aliasing in microcontrollers, developers must be delicate in the coding practices. They should avoid using multiple pointers to access the same location unless absolutely necessary for ensure that all pointers are properly initialized and managed throughout the code. Additionally, they should utilize tools such as static analysis and runtime checking to detect and prevent pointer aliasing issues before they become a problem. Conclusion In conclusion, we have learned that pointer aliasing is a concept that can use unexpected behavior in code. It occurs when two or more pointers point to the same memory location, which can lead to bugs and other issues in software development. It's important to understand pointer aliasing and its impact on code in order to write efficient and bug-free programs. We have discussed strategies for avoiding pointer aliasing such as const pointers and passing pointers as function arguments. We have also highlighted real-world examples of how pointer aliasing can impact applications such as medical devices and aerospace technology. Additionally, we have covered techniques for debugging pointer aliasing issues and how to prevent them from occurring in the first place. Overall, understanding pointer aliasing is crucial for any software developer. By being aware of this concept and implement stat implementing strategies to avoid it, we can write a better code and create more reliable software. Thank you.